Hello, Zero K fans! This is Shadow 33 doing an epi vlog cast of me and Google Frog testing out the new C game in Zero K. So apparently, there are some changes. For one thing, the. Well, see, basically, ships have been completely rewritten. So the idea being that there's a better rock, paper, scissors sort of counter system. In this case, the Hunters, Trivia Frigate, beats Snakes, the submarine, which beats, in turn, the. Well, everything else, pretty much. And then Skeeters beat Hunters. Typhoons sort of beat Hunters, and everything else is kind of meant to deal with land or air. Get a couple snakes as well, and more importantly, get some economy because I need to get that going. And apparently, I've already gotten Skeetered somewhat, and I realize now that I'm not using my underwater specialist comm. We are on Blue Comet, by the way, which, as you can see, is entirely aquatic. The entire map is based on water, and also I kind of, like I said, kind of messed up a bit. But I should be able to hopefully raid him a bit to get out of here. I mean, granted, he is definitely much better than I am at this game, so I don't know how much hope I have, but we'll see what I can do. I mean, any raiding is good raiding, provided that you don't, you know, die in the process. And it looks like Google Frog is paying a huge amount of attention, so I should have a decent chance here. Get rid of that particular metal extractor there, and also get this snake into position so I can actually deal with these guys and build up some defenses as well as building up what I need in order to not completely run out of resources, but I kind of already have, and now Typhoons are dealing with my Skeeters, which I believe they're supposed to. Well, okay, they're meant to be Hunter, but they, I mean, Skeeters are fairly weak, so it's not entirely surprising, and I haven't built a huge number of them, so... Not surprised that it didn't really work. Ah, there's my snake. Oh yeah, I should probably you know, deal with stuff. Fortunately, a little bit hard to play while talking, but I shall do what I can. And also make sure that this guy is running on high priority because I want to actually get my metal going. And then get my defenders up and then get everything else I need. Snake here on two, snake here on three. Go forward, try to see what's going on. Now, snake should... I mean, I gotta worry about... Hunters, the thing that I have to worry about here. And Skeeters apparently do well against those, and I might get a Typhoon later on. First off, like I said before, need to get metal. Actually, they need to get energy. And I don't believe that. No, Solar Collector's not even buildable on water. Wind generators are, but Solar Collectors are not. That is a bit of a problem. And the snake takes forever to build, because stuff on sea is really expensive. No, I should raid. I should raid. I want to make sure they're raiding, and unfortunately, I apologize, can't easily see what metal extractors exist. I'm going to try to raid along... Well, he's building along to the west, but he might be building along to the east as well. See what he's building over there. Of course, this is a rather large map, so... I'm going to see quite... A... Okay, why did I think defenders were a good idea? Now I feel silly. Ah, come on. Okay, well, that's not going to work very well. Put that on high priority, put my calm on low priority and yeah this is kind of embarrassing oops sorry guys I realize this is kind of embarrassing probably painful to watch play so yeah I, I understand bit of an issue Did I? I can't even see that I just uh. okay well this is not really much of a game not sure what I expected to gain from testing this, but I guess that was at least somewhat interesting, if nothing else. And my snake is pretty much dead. Yeah, my snake's dead. Okay, that is game. Well, that was short. Actually, yeah, no, I already GG'd, so I'm out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, although I realized that was pretty underwhelming, and... I'll have another game shortly, possibly either me once again embarrassing myself, or a replay of people that aren't embarrassing themselves by being so terrible. So will be back in a moment. Welcome back, Sarah K fans. It's Shadow 3 with another FP VOD. I'm going to try again going up against Google Frog because last game I kind of started off trying to introduce the cast and that was a bit of a mistake. So I'm just going to get myself started and... Oh, it is on one. I'm not sure why my column is automatically on one, but 
For whatever reason, it is. Actually, I'm going to make an urchin first as well, because I'm paranoid. Maybe not the best idea, but we'll see. Anyways, get the Skeeter over to Google Frog's side, and then we shall see what he's up to, because that's what I want to know. What is he up to? And actually, this Skeeter should be on three, actually on five, because I'm going to put other stuff on three probably pretty soon. And the snakes I shall put on to two. Okay, that's, that urchin might have been a bit too early. But whatever. I don't have any easy way of fighting water. I do have a commander that can hit against water, but this is a torpedo capability set. Haven't morphed it yet. Might have been a good idea, especially since we're going to need energy fairly soon. But we'll see. Actually, you know, I'm just going to stop this. Put it on a low priority. So that my commander can actually build things and not just flounder. Okay, you go here and... Right, you're on five. You go here. Oh, shoot, he has an urchin as well. That is not going to work out. Get out of there, because you're going to get killed. Yes, exactly like that. That is how you get killed. You know how to get killed. Not the most useful skill, I must say. Dying is not a survival skill. Just pointing that out. I'm also apparently really slow at actually setting up. You know what, maybe just stop this all Stop this altogether. Turn on wait, and then just... Let my calm deal with everything after morphing. Nope, this isn't gonna work. Shoot. My calm can morph, then at least it's gonna be something. Although if I set up my wind generators here, and then go back to... Oh shoot, why did I leave that to die? Ah, yes, I know, I suck at this game. Go ahead and mock me. See if I care. Seriously though, why is it that I can't... Oh, there's nothing visible right now. This water is really thick. I gotta say, it's very hard to see things under it. I'm a little surprised at that. I, I am supposed to be able to see my calm, right? Well, no matter. I guess so. How deep is the water? No, I guess the water's not that deep. Well, regardless, I need to get power up. And... Actually, maybe let's just get... Get the power infrastructure up first, and then from there I can get my calm morph. And I think Google Frog's probably taking half the map at this point, because why wouldn't he? Why at this point would he not take half the map? Because he can. So I am just sort of floundering, hopefully trying to get my commander to get his torpedo up so I can actually go around the map a bit more freely. I think, however, I may be dead in the water once again. Yeah, I don't really know how to say, play C that well. It's not honestly a very common... It's not really a common theater. This is actually one of the reasons why I'm test I'm helping Google Frog test this, because he is trying to redesign it somewhat. And completely rebuild it from the ground up to make it a viable theater. And doing that requires... Well, testing. Which also requires that... I get my butt kicked repeatedly since I'm not as good at this game as he is. But I do now have a torpedo-related commander! Commander with a torpedo! Which is wonderful- Why are you not on zero? Commander has a torpedo, which is great! Wonderful to have a commander with a torpedo. You go and actually start searching around, start raiding, because I don't know where he's up to. Actually, for that matter, I should just send you out to attack directly where the metal extractors are, because I can't actually see where the metal points are on the map. This is all water! And you can't see the metal points through water easily. And I should also set up an urchin here, and then set up a oops, bunch of wind generators. I don't believe solar... No, solar is not available underwater. Fusion and wind is. Solar is not. Actually, should I... Maybe I should... No, I shouldn't build a constructor ship quite yet. Ah, there we go. My snake is actually making some thing useful. Although now he's going to get hunters, which means I need to get skeeters and possibly typhoons. And actually, I might want to get hunters of my own because the thing is that these four units are kind of what you need. Actually, skeeter, hunter, and snake. Apparently, like I said, hunter beats snakes, snakes beat skeeters, and typhoons and skeeters beat hunters. Well, snakes beat everything else, basically. That's the idea. Snakes are just generally supposed to be beating things other than hunters, which this is. I need to get out of here. What is that hunter's attack range? I don't know what that hunter's attack range is. That, I can't tell. It's, but it's out, it cannot, well, I can't see it. It can or may be able to see me, which is a problem. 
but my snakes need to go away from there. Hopefully raid a bit. My Skeeter should be able to take care of the Hunter, no problem. And now I'm actually getting economy. This is starting to work out. Okay, for now. For the moment. Eventually, of course, Google Frog will probably get the upper hand on me. Because he is a better player than I am. There is no denying that. Oh, and his commander probably has... Ah, shoot. Oh, no, he's an urchin. That's the problem. Commander may have a torpedo. I don't know, but he has urchins, and that definitely has torpedoes. Ah, here we go. Skeeters can actually do stuff. Although I imagine Skeeters are not just perfect against Hunters. Probably a matter of micromanagement because, well, torpedoes are not homing, missiles are, and I just lost a Skeeter. So yes, it's probably the case. It's probably the case that Skeeters are merely a matter of either a four-cost counter or a torpedoes cannot home based counter. If I get this Typhoon out, then I'm going to have a bit more counter capability. My Skeeter can't do too much. Actually, wait, this Hunter's almost dead. Come on, Skeeter, kill that Hunter. Although I think it's going to take two shots. Yeah, it's going to take... No, it's going to take more than two. What? No! Why is it not dead? Okay, what? Okay, how did that Hunter not die? I want to know that. How did that Hunter not die? That is confusing to me. And Why am I... Did I just... Oh, shoot. Okay, for some reason the camera changed on me. Ah, This is very bad. The camera should not change on me. There we go. And Typhoon is coming in. Oh, crap. Typhoon and a... Is there a snake coming in? I don't think there's a snake coming in. But there's Typhoon and... My calm is taking... Well, it's not taking any damage. Okay, I need to get a builder now. Because I need to make sure that I actually have a way of... Building things, naturally. Or rather, I need a way of pumping my factory up. I need to make sure that that is doing okay. Oh, darn it. I was leaving myself to die. Although, come to think of it, if Typhoon... No, Typhoons beat Hunters, but they might have a chance against Urch... No, they don't have a whole lot of range. They might still have a chance against Urchins. They might as well give it a shot. How much health does Typhoon... Oh, Typhoon has a lot of health. Okay, it should be fine. And Mariner, you go over here, and actually, you help build... You assist. Actually, no. Better yet, you build a caretaker. That caretaker will assist. And my typhoon... It, why is it not killing the... Kill the urchin, for crying out loud. Okay, that probably would have worked if the urchin was actually in range. That was stupid. Like most everything else I've done this game. But more stupid because that was actually something I... Would have done right if it weren't for the fact that I had microed it poorly. <sighs> So it wasn't necessarily poorly done, it was just... Well, it was poorly done, but it was poorly executed more than it was poorly thought out. Which is almost as pain... Which is actually more painful in a way. At least it's poorly thought out, I could just not do it. But if it was poorly executed, that means that it was close. It would have worked, but no, I had to screw it up. And, come to think of it... Make radar first, why don't you? Actually, for that matter... Make sonar. Never had to do this before, but yeah, make sonar. And you make more power. Ah, shoot. I am really not used to this style of play, honestly. Because ships are, by and large, very expensive and not particularly... Well, easy to group on account of their cost. Which means that my more typical style of play, which involves building a lot of things that are meant to be used in large groups doesn't work especially well. As can be seen now, although admittedly an urchin is going to help against... I think this is a Skeeter. Given its speed, yes, it is in fact a Skeeter. The urchin will be able to deal with it without too much issue, so I'll just get these guys out of there. And soon enough, I shall indeed have a... Oh, actually, quite a few mariners. But yes, yeah, soon enough, I shall indeed have a... De oh, well, no, maybe not a decent army. No, in fact, I'm kind of done here. Let me just build an urchin and hope for the best. Where is my calm? My calm is over here. He actually might be able to help out. Comes in from behind, it might work. There are snakes! My hunters... Well, no, my hunters are screwed. There aren't enough... Of, there aren't enough things to work here. I don't have enough snakes to deal with everything else. Actually, Skeeters... Skeeters deal with the hunters. That's the idea. 
Skeeters deal with Hunters. Hunters, I guess the best thing you can do is deal with Typhoons, because honestly, that's all they, you have to deal with. Ah, crap, I don't have enough. Ah, but Snakes can deal with the Typhoons. Get rid of the Typhoons before the Hunters die! Okay, well, the Typhoons are dead, but so is everything else I have. And he has a bunch of Snakes. And my comms out of range, and he doesn't have enough... Okay, that's it, that's the game. I think. Actually, I might have a chance. I think I may still have a chance, but I don't know for sure. I think he has radar. He probably has radar everywhere. I'm probably screwed. Yeah, I'm screwed. That's game. Well, that was a bit more interesting than last time, but not by much. So once again, I embarrass myself publicly. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was at least amusing, if nothing else. And not sure what I'm going to do now, if I'm going to do one more of these, or if I'm going to move on to replays. Hopefully this is useful data for Google Frog. Hopefully he gets some ideas about what's gone with sea balance, because it does seem like the mix of units is a good idea. It's a little, maybe a little Age of Empire. well not really the Age of Empires-y, I mean there's, there is a counter triangle to an extent, but I think that's, and that still seems like a natural counter triangle, and a matter of counter triangle for cost. Not a matter. Of, there's no hard counters in this game, so I wouldn't imagine that would happen. Anyway, I will be back shortly, so stay tuned.